As civil engineers, we need to take in consideration the impact of climate change when designing our drainage networks. This will help us ensure that developments will be safe and avoid flooding incidents from tidal, fluvial and surface flooding in the future and help residents evacuate safely. To do that, we will have to implement the Climate Change Guidance Update issued by the Environment Agency in May 2022. Climate change allowances are predictions for anticipated changes in peak river flows, peak rainfall intensity and sea level rises. In this video, we'll be talking about the peak rainfall intensity and what you need to know when designing your drainage network. So, the Environment Agency has divided England into 92 catchment management areas and provided climate change allowances for both the 3.3% and 1% of annual expected precipitation, which are the 30-year and 100-year return periods respectively. Now, the climate change peak rainfall allowances should be used for drainage design, surface water flooding mapping in small catchment areas less than 5 square kilometers and urbanized drainage catchments. Now, for large areas with rural land, then we should be using the peak river flow allowances, which we'll cover in another video. So, how do we select which allowance is actually right for our site? Well, the key criteria is the development lifetime. Now, the development lifetime guidance is used to work out the lifetime of your development. Now, this is what the EA climate change guidance says, but I couldn't find any development lifetime guidance online. So if you know where it is, leave it in the comments below. Now, it says that residential developments should have a minimum of 100 years. And from my experience, industrial units should have 50 years. So, for developments with a lifetime up to 2060, we should use the sensor allowances for the 2050s epoch. And for developments between 2061 and 2100, we should use central allowance, but for the epochs of 2070s. And for developments with a lifetime over 2100, we should use the upper end allowances for the 2070s epoch. Now, when we're designing our drainage for the one person annual exceedance probability event, so the 100 year return period, we should make sure there is no increase in flood risk elsewhere and our development will be safe from surface water flooding. In conclusion, climate change is real and we must take it into consideration when designing on our drainage network. The guidance provided by the Environment Agency is a valuable tool to future-proof our drainage networks from the impacts of climate change in the, from the future. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and if you loved it, hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching.